The 1st of May 1987 in West Berlin. International Workers' Day. A peaceful public holiday. But off-duty policeman Helmut Zavas is called back to work in the evening. Rioting has broken out in Kreuzberg. The streets are in flames. It looked like a bomb had exploded. There was fire everywhere. I felt like I was in a sci-fi film. Cars were burning. The noise was like nothing I'd ever heard. Hooting and screaming. It was downright spooky. So what sparks the riots? Left-wing radicals attack a police van in the early evening and take cover in a street party. When officers try to arrest them, the mood shifts. People start throwing stones and the police respond with tear gas. The mood had been good, but then it turned into hatred against the state, capitalism and all that. Police officers became public enemy number one. I had never experienced that kind of rage. We were scared. People were throwing rocks from behind the flames. All you could see was blackness, the glare of the flames. And then left and right, you heard rocks hitting the ground. You were really lucky if you didn't get hit. Sozusagen. Man sah immer nur ein dunkles Loch, ein Feuerschein, und man hörte rechts und links das Klackern der Steine und war froh, dass man nicht getroffen wurde. The riots last until morning. 245 police officers are left injured, 45 rioters arrested. It takes a while for the full extent of the destruction to become clear. Firefighters spend a long time working in the rubble of a ransacked, burned-out supermarket. 